How's it going guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Blue Lock episode 15. Now simply put, it's not over till it's over. So get ready. Without further ado, let's check out the next episode and see what took place. <laughs> Let's go. Two on two matchup. We are in the same boat, aren't we? He knows. He knows. That him and Isagi are the same. They have the same way of attacking their opponents. And he comes with a mind game. If anything, Isagi should be the one playing the mind game on him, but for some particular reason. Yeah, it was actually a nice cliffhanger on the last episode. Mm, he missed. He should, yeah, he should be going to counter the ball. Ooh! Sweet! Damn! He is not letting out. King is not letting in. He is not allowing them room to breathe at all. They should have known that he would counter if Neruhaya doesn't counter. <laughs> the stage has been set. Whose mind game will win over the other one? I mean, the thing is, Isagi is not playing a mind game right now on Neruhaya. Neruhaya is the one playing trying to get into Isagi's head by telling him we're pretty much the same. We're the same way we think alike. And normally in a team like this, we don't normally get picked. But I, I, I wonder why they don't get picked because if anything, they are the ones that, that are key players that makes the team whole, right? That watches the ball, watches their opponent, understand realize and capitalize on the opponent's weakness by learning how the ball goes where the ball goes how the team dribbles the game they you know so i don't know why neruhaya feels the way he feels and for some reason he said he believed him and kind of they kind of let us know that that type of players don't get picked simply because um so far they made us feel like isagi's type of play or his skill is not really needed right for some particular reason because i, I thought when they lost to the other team three on three that they would pick him but they picked bachira here we go Don't believe him. Don't listen to him, Isagi. Like 
This is either put up or shut up. This is the time to either put up or shut up. This is the time to eat for Hisagi to find something that he's liking, to see and learn what he's liking and try and fix it right here, right now, in this very moment. Sui. Very nice, very nice, Nagi. This is gonna anger Baru right now. This is gonna, he, this is gonna piss him off. He's gonna be like, "What the, what the hell is going on here?" Mm -hmm. I'm not letting it end here. Didn't I say it? I said that just now, right? He's gonna have to think. Mm hmm. He's gonna have to break that wall. Ooh! Sweet! <laughs> Not happening. Recover. Rebound. Nice. At least by now, they should know that that's how battle works. Why would you sit there and let him get that ball off you when he knows that he's on your ass? When you know that he's on you? Nagi should be there, yeah. Ooh. Koi! The, why aren't they watching this man? Sui! <laughs> Why did Hisagi just stood there and watch when he knew what would happen? That Baru will not just sit back and watch. He should know this by now that Baru will always go for the counter if Naruhaya misses the ball. I think he figured out something. Ikizo. My blind spot and off the ball. This has turned into a chess game, hasn't it? Sui! I will be reborn again and again. All right. Four and four. He's like he's really thinking hard. He's digging deep right now. He's digging. He's really, really digging deep inside himself and to find something to to bring the pieces together.
<laughs> Soy! <laughs> That's right. You see, Nagi and he's like, yes, they're really starting to work together, man. I, I really like their chemistry. I thought their chemistry is going to be, you know, it's going to be, let's just say that what is happening right now, I did not expect it. But they are both winners. They want to win. And they're doing everything within their powers uh, to put aside their differences and work together and win this game. Well, that's actually a positive way of looking at things, huh? When it's bad, smile on the situation and the situation will eventually go away. Keep smiling. I really like the fact that they are going back to some players' uh, backstory, or let me say, their humble beginnings, to kind of give us a, run a rundown on how their life was before joining Blue Lock. I think it gets us to know the player a little more and understand why they are determined to win this game. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Nagi is ready. He's ready for Baru. Baru now has two opponents to, to fight against on the goal post. Even at this particular time, in this situation, he's willing to do it all by himself. What? Oh, he missed! Rebound! Rebound! Oh, Baru is coming too. Oh, he's going to shoot it. He missed. Rebound. Nice. EK. Here we go. Here is Baru, as arrogant as ever. Still being arrogant in this situation. Whoa, he has his eye on Isagi. Isagi is not going anywhere, man. He has his eyes on Isagi. Like, literally, he has zeroed in his attention on Isagi. And he's faster than Isagi. More agile, more nimble, and more powerful than Isagi. So Isagi is going to have to trick him. Shh. 
Fui! Detroit de Bottle! <laughs> They tricked him. Ooh, he has to shoot that ball right now. Oh, El Sui! Soya! If you didn't shoot your battle, would have recovered that ball from him in an instant. Yata! Yata ze! Yata! Yatase. In Japanese, it means we did it. Yatase. In Japanese, it means finally it's done. Yatase. So who are they going to pick? If I were them, I would pick Baru, man. I mean, Baru will be the person. That's what I'm saying. If anything, Isagi should have been the one playing mind game on Naruhaya and it would have worked excellently. But I guess they wanted to do it in a way that someone who has admired Isagi, watching Isagi play, and saw a way to manipulate the situation in his favor, and that is Naruhaya. Who will it be? Baru or Isagi? Mm hmm. I would pick Baru, man. Although he's arrogant, but at the same time, he can he gets the job done, and he's very skilled, very agile, nimble, and always determined to whoop people's ass when it comes down to it. Sometimes you need people like that. Sometimes when you face opponents similar to Baru, you need you need Baru's character. To help counter that type of opponent, such as the three-on-three -three game that they had together, but that they played. What was his name again? The other guy. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you need someone like Baru's energy, because there are other assholes out there. Isagi is gonna have to deal with. <laughs> yep, that's why.
Oh. You guys see what is happening here? Do you guys see what is about to happen? Do you guys see what is about to happen? For some particular reason, I like it. Because now, Isagi's other former player members now holds grudges against him for them not being picked or not being with Isagi and Bachira. So they have a grudge against Isagi and Bachira. And now they have asked Ryo, who got dumped by Nagi, do you want to team up with us and crush Bachira, Nagi, and Isagi? This is going to create a new grudge right now, a new animosity of his own. Hisagi now has Nagi and Baru. So my guess is on the next episode, this will be the team that they will be going up against. Former team members playing against each other. That will bring a good matchup. You rest assured know that. That's going to bring a good matchup. It's going to be a good play. And um, because they know each other so much, but at the same time, they don't know that each other has evolved from what they were before. So it's going to make the matchup very interesting. Yami Sekihiro. <laughs> Shout out to Black Luva, man. All you Black Luva fans know for sure who I'm referring to. Only Black Clover fans knows Yami's voice and will understand why I said what I said. So, and that's enough for me. And for you Blue Lock fans who don't know Yami Sekihiro, go listen to his voice and listen to the voice of Baru and come back. Hopefully these guys will get along, man, because Baru is just the biggest, one of the biggest assholes so far on this anime. Ouch! Exactly. 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 All right, guys, there you have it. Feel free to share your opinion on this because the next matchup is going to be interesting. These two over there with Rio, teaming up with Rio, it's going to bring a good matchup on the next episode. Because they have grudges against uh, their former team members for now being picked. Oh. Rio has way more grudges than the other two. Nagi is not coming back. His grudges is more deeper than, than we expected. <laughs> Nagi's not coming back. It's one of those things. Oh, he loves me. He doesn't love me. He loves me. He doesn't love me. He loves me. He doesn't love me. <laughs> Situation. Oh, he's a psychopath. I will be cold to Nagi. He got traumatized by Nagi dumping him, huh? <gasps> wow, he's in a dark situation. <laughs> Rio? Rio has found himself in a dark spot. He has taken this whole thing to the next level. He is now holding a dark grudge on Nagi. And like I said, this will make a good matchup on the next episode. So, on that note, stay safe, keep on keeping on. <laughs> Sweet!